Greetings, Bat Prince here, and today we are playing Solar System in VR by Splitlight Studio. So there's a game called Afterlife coming soon. Oh, I like the little displays. Pirates? Cool. Motor Ride? That doesn't say coming soon. Can we play that one now? Dino Safari. Hell yeah, I want to play some Dino Safaris. I might have to talk to, to, to people and try to play Motor Ride. That might be fun. But in the meantime, Solar System. We're in a Great Britain English play. Did I press the trigger? Okay. Oh, why am I so high? Oh, oh. Or maybe I need to sit down a little. Also, where's the sound at? I can't hear anything. Am I just floating around in space? Do I need to press anything? Oh. oh. I can reset myself anytime I want. Oh. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh. It's the Great Space Coaster. Hop on board for the Great Space Coaster. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, I'm on my way. Hey, look, there's Neptune. That's a gas giant. Hi, Neptune. Earth is over there. In space. No one can hear you. Oh, we're going to Triton. Hi, Triton. Bye, Triton. It does smell there. Hyper jump. Where did we go? Oh, we went to Uranus. Of course we did. Cordelia. Watch out for all them rocks. Whoosh. Whoosh. The moon of Cordelia. Mmm. Three messages. Can I check my messages somehow? Not that bad. Oh, dear. Um, the atmosphere is H2HE at Rhea by Rhea. Oh, Earth is only there for a scale. This is a big old Saturn. Oh, lots of little rocks. Whoosh! Whoosh! Did we hit some of them rocks on the way? Whoosh! Yeah, it's like a roller coaster, but in space. Up on board for the Great Space Coaster. Titan and Enceladus. Enceladus. Bye, Enceladus. Oh, I don't want to go inside and sour this. It's cold and there's water plumes and they spit stuff out. See, like that. Oh, careful now. Now. Can I hear anything? Oh, watch out for that plume. We're back at Jupiter. Like, what's the order we're doing things? We're just flying around. Bye, Jupiter. Ganymede. Um, the moon. Where are we going next? Hyper jump in progress. And wish. Um, oh, hold on. We're at Mars. Oh, we're nearly back at Earth. 
it's a rocky planet. Are we going to go down onto the surface and have a look at things? <gasps> we are. We can go through one of the trenches. We can shoot some womp rats or something. Oh. Oh, careful. You're getting a little close to the ground there. I suppose it's been programmed. It's not going to hit anything, right? No. Da -na 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 -na. Is there life on Mars? Oh, look, it's the little robot that sings happy birthday to itself. Bye. I mean, you say little, but those things are like the size of people. They're huge. They're like little cars. Now where are we going? Ooh, a dust storm. <laughs> oh, off we go. We broke out of the atmosphere. Now where are we going? We're going back home? Earth. Right? Yeah. It's Earth. And the moon. How boring. Let's uh skip that one. Oh, the moon. Can we go straight on to Venus? <gasps> it's the dark side of the moon. Are we going to go visit the, the landing site? There it is. Oh. Cool. Lunar Lander. Poor lonely thing. It needs a... Whoa, whoa. Oh, dear. I'm getting a little bit wobbly. Whoosh. Oh. There's the sun. And this must be Mercury. Did we miss Venus? Oh, this is Venus. Venus is red now. We always used to draw it not red. I suppose it is kind of terrible and hot. Oh, back to menu. That's not what I wanted. I just pressed the button. Oh. I got some sound. I had some problems where I wasn't hearing sound. Well, that's my fault. This is by Splitlight Studio. Let's see more before we start it up, huh? We got Afterlife coming soon. That looks cool. Uh, pirates? Yar! Dino Safari coming soon. Yeah, I want to play that. Motor Ride. Not coming soon. It's, it's out now. I need to play that one too. Alright. But, uh... Let's set the quality. And then just get into it. We'll play. I might close it down or something. Ugh. I know what this is. And it's going to make me fall over if I don't. This is like one of those, uh, oh, look forward and press the trigger. Hold the back to menu button on the grip. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, so if I look forward and press the trigger, that is where I am now. So pushing off. Welcome aboard the Alpha Centauri spacecraft. Oh, is that Morgan We're going Freeman? To take you on a journey through the solar system. Nice. Which comprises the Sun, eight planets, 173 known moons, five dwarf planets, and many other smaller celestial bodies. Cool. We'll start our journey from Neptune, the farthest My planet from the Sun. My hands don't actually do anything. We're flying it seems. a new generation spacecraft which can reach incredible speeds. 
as opposed to those old spacecraft that could only reach in three, not two, very incredible one. speeds. And here is Neptune, a gas giant discovered in the mid 19th century. It is the eighth and the farthest planet from the Sun. The farthest? The unique features of Neptune are its great dark spots. These oh, are I see. huge storm systems. Cool. That form and disperse over time. Let's try it. Due to the great distance from the Sun, the outer atmosphere of Neptune is one of the coldest places in the solar system. Oh, wow. Hyper jump guy. Flying closer towards the sun, we start to approach Uranus. Just By like Neptune, it is also a nice giant. Its planetary rings are chains of debris, mm -hmm. which were formed by collisions with the moons, oh. which once orbited it. Today, we know that Uranus has 27 natural satellites. Oh, Unlike wow. the other planets in our solar system, Uranus spins on its side. It does. It's but it's all been pushed over. Somebody pushed it over. Oh, Saturn. Saturn. The planet that has always impressed and fascinated people. It has often claimed to be the most beautiful. One of the furthest we can see with our own sphere, eyes, right? However charming it may seem, is not though a friendly place to visit because of its high internal pressure and temperature. Oh. Unlike Earth or Mars, it doesn't have a rocky surface. Its impressive rings composed of ice particles, rocky debris, and cosmic dust. One day we'll mine it. Despite the huge surface, Ooh. the rings are in fact only Careful. several hundred meters thick. They're probably the remains of one of the planet's moons. Just the one? Which would have been torn apart by gravity. Oh man. Enceladus. Saturn has a staggering number of known moons. Titan. 56 in total. Now let's take a closer look at one of them. Enceladus. Yeah, named after one of the, the one giants that of Greek mythology. Spurts out Enceladus. ice plumes, yeah? Like water plumes. It's full of water under its surface. We're learning about space people. The whole surface of this natural satellite of Saturn is covered by 30 kilometer thick ice. Mm. Underneath the ice oh. there is an ocean. According to scientists, it may be home to some primordial forms of life. Ooh. On Enceladus, we can see there are ice volcanoes. Ice few volcano. Steam, gases, ice crystals, and organic particles. That sounds cold. Can we not go we into it? One of the Ooh. Whoosh. The last of the gas giants shot Jupiter us into is space. The largest planet in the solar system. Yeah, it is. Look in its huge it is. volume, it could house 1,400 planets the size of Earth. But it's not like gonna. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, Jupiter does not have a rocky surface. It doesn't what we wanna. see is a cloud layer in its atmosphere. Oh. The most prominent feature of Jupiter is a great red spot. A persistent anticyclonic storm with a diameter larger than that of Earth. Ganymede. Which has been raging there for at least 350 years, exceeding 600 kilometers per hour. Bye, Jupiter. Wow. The next stop on our journey is Mars, also known as the Red Planet. It owes its moniker to a rustic color, the result of iron oxide prevalent on its surface. Ooh. Below we can see one of Mars' canyons. We're heading there now. We're gonna go through the canyon? Canyon Arroy! Ooh! Ha! The place where we are right now is called Valles Marineris. It is the largest of the canyons discovered so far. It is 5,000 kilometers long, which is 11 times longer than the Grand Canyon in the USA. Mm, I like it. Oh. In 2003, the American Space Agency NASA sent two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity on a mission of exploration. After a couple of months, both landed safely on the surface of Mars. Aw, hi little robot. Right now, it is drilling to collect and measure the samples of Martian rock. Aww. Bye, robot. Mars has long attracted interest among scientists. Its surface conditions and the presence of water 
Make it the most human-friendly planet in the solar system after Earth. For many years, engineers have been planning to send a manned mission to Mars, and in future, to colonize it. Yeah, let's live there. Unfortunately, there are many dangers that the future colonizers will have to face. Like potatoes. One of them are Martian dust storms that can completely cover the planet. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. And Here we go. In our journey, we are traveling closest to our home. Earth. Ugh. What this a unique crap planet, hole. Inhabited by millions of plants and animal species, is the only known place Ugh. in space where life has evolved. That we know of. So far, I mean, we're a tiny blip on time, as well as in space. We don't know what's going on yet. We'll get there. We'll figure the it out. What was that? Century, on the dark Americans, side of the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to set foot upon the moon. Yeah, and that this guy who stayed up in the um. One of the six manned Apollo missions to the moon. Stayed up in the ship. He uh, just recently the passed away. The view admired by people from the moon's surface was of our blue planet. Uh, where? Looking at the sky, we can easily observe Earth partially shrouded in darkness. Mm. The small dots we can see are the lights of the cities. Turn off your lights! We're now getting closer to the center of the solar system. We're heading towards Venus, a rocky planet that has a similar mass and size as Earth. This is the one with Science the jumping dinosaurs the made of rubber, yeah? On its surface that later evaporated due to an increase in temperature. Oh, which poor today Venus. Which is around 500 degrees Celsius. Although Venus is farther from the sun than Mercury, it is the hottest planet in the solar system. To look That's at the sun weird. so closely, we will use a filter. Okay. Which passes through just a fraction of a percent of all the light admitted by this star. The first planet from the sun, and the last one we are visiting is Mercury. It is the smallest and least explored planet due to its close proximity to our star. We're gonna go the dwarf planets Numerous too. Impact craters and virtually no atmosphere make Mercury very similar. To I'd like to visit Ceres. Just like Venus, though, it doesn't have a natural satellite. It probably was one itself once, right? And here is the sun, the central star of our solar system. Its light and heat make life on Earth possible. From a distance, it seems to be a yellow homogeneous sphere. Mm. But seen up close, it looks completely different. It's a mass of incandescent gases. Well, it's not actually. On the sun's They're surface, gases, there's a turbulent ocean plasma. of gas. That's plasma, not gas. Of 5,500 degrees Celsius. Wow. In its center, the temperature reaches 14 million degrees Celsius. That's, that's a lot of numbers. This is where our journey comes to an end. Aw, we're not We've doing the dwarf a ones? distance of four and a half billion kilometers. Jesus, Jupiter. We've seen a Calm down. Gas giants and smaller rocket planets. And yet still, we know very little about space. Mm. Every day, though, scientists make new surprising discoveries of places that are waiting to be explored. Yeah. What today seems to be only a distant planet in the future may become our new home. Okay. We don't get to look at the dwarves. Oh, we're gonna go to another system. Uh oh. The end. We're not going yet. They're just gonna throw us out into the deep end. Wow. That was a lot of fun. I got to learn things. Is there a DLC for the uh for the dwarf planets? Um, I guess I'll just have to play the motorbike one soon. I can't wait for the dinosaur one. Alright, well, ugh, I guess that's that. I'll put these back down, I don't need them. That's enough exploring the solar system for one day. I'll see you kitties sometime later. Nighty night.